Hi, Texas Flycasters, and welcome to another product review. In the past, my reviews have been outdoors and outside and here and there and everywhere, but you know it's hot in Texas right now. And this is just an interim step between what I'm doing now with backgrounds and all this and the move into the Airstream trailer as the host site of a lot of fly fishing videos. Today we're looking at the Trestle. You've heard of Trestle, right? That's the company that makes those uh, really, uh, you know, trendy uh, or fly rod racks that you see on the top of uh, Toyota 4Runners and trucks and stuff like that. Well, Trestle went off. They did something that I think is a, it might be pretty cool. I haven't looked at it yet. But um, this is a typical rod sock. And you can find these anywhere from six to ten dollars any store academy or whatever let me give you a little insider on this i'm pretty sure that what this is is aircraft loom like wires go in here and aircraft big giant aircraft problem with these is they're too short usually you know for a fly rod and um they're also not thick enough for a heavier rod with a with a good stripping big saltwater stripping guide so if they're long enough they're not fat enough usually they're just not long enough the reason I believe in these guys and I started using these years ago if you're, if you're fishing fly fishing a lot rods are expensive right so you want to take care of your investment we know there's a long list of of uh, things that can happen ceiling fans you know all kinds of stuff if you just put your rod in one of these and get in the habit you might stand a chance when uh, when a tragedy almost strikes. I find these on the side of the road. I find them everywhere. I'm a major dumpster diver, so bear with me. I, uh, I believe in function over form. So knowing that this stuff comes from aircraft industry, you can buy entire rolls of this on Amazon. I'll put a link in, in the description to Amazon for um, if you want to make your own. Uh, the thing I can't vouch for is the finishing on these, the, the flip here and the, um, the tip here. So you can make your own length, you can do whatever you want, your own thickness. You can order all that stuff off of Amazon. You know how Amazon is. Anyway, that's that. So Trestle came out with one that's long enough for a fly rod. Fly rods are expensive. I've said that once, I'll say it again, I'll say it again. They're very expensive, so um, typically. So you want to take care of them. Another function of these besides saving the, uh, the rod potentially, it stops rattles and tubes on, on skiffs, stops rattles and the tubes on the trestle uh, and, and abrasions either place on uh, the trestle um, rod vaults, I think they call them. So trestle came out with one, it's long enough and darn it, it's nice enough. But it's really interesting because this little guy right here, and I just, I just got it. I've been waiting. I haven't taken it out of the package. They're called boots. So those were socks. These are boots. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Well, thank you, Trestle, for coming out with the boot. So let's just see what these, see if I can get in the package. Oh, man, this is like super retail packaging here. Let's see what we can do without destroying one. All right, that wasn't so bad. Supposed to be long enough, and they've got some kind of a cinching thing on them too that cinches it up. Yeah, it cinches the tips, and then it also lynches around the actual reel. So, a couple of things that are different, little add ons, makes these $30 for two. So, you're going from 10 to $15, uh, and only by only selling in twos, $30. So Guys, we're getting into real big time now. Uh, oh, it's got their name on it. Look at there. Ooh, color. Ooh, almost one of my favorite colors. Pretty nice color for sure. I don't know if you got color choices or not. The length, <laughs> it's long enough. Yeah, it's long enough. And then here's that little gizmo on the end that'll they'll let you pull two, two of these tips together or whatever, however many you want. This is the end that goes around the reel. This is not a, like, a, it doesn't take a genius, right? But takes money to get a trestle and I think Loon's making some of these too now but it, it's going to be the same stuff this is this is that same kind of mesh that they use for looming in the aircraft industry if I'm not mistaken correct me if I'm wrong I love it when I get corrected let me find let me grab this rod I've got right here and we will see how it works 
um, on a saltwater rod that uh, is actually, well, now I gotta get it. <laughs> it's actually got the bigger guides in it. Another function of these guys that I really like here in Texas is keeps the sun off. So, you know, if you can keep the sun off of your rod, it won't fade out as, as quickly. And of course, then it won't get crispy either. So that's another thing. So we're getting there, we're getting there. In this limited space I have here, it's really hard to deal. All right, it's going, it's going, it's going. This is a nine foot, eight weight sage salt um, mangrove rod. And it does go over, look at there, it does actually go over that end. Oh yeah, this is a, something to spare actually, which I don't actually like very much because you have to have somewhere to put it. It gathers on the, uh, yeah, that's pretty long. It gathers on the uh, cork a little bit when it goes on. Another thing that's gonna happen with these, you'll find out, is they, they weigh something. So they do, if you got a soft tipped rod, it will arc the rod while it's just in the holder or whatever. But you know, the trade-offs here are, let's see, just take that forward. It's, I don't know about the hand. It really grips the grip pretty hard. That's because of the, 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 the logo painted on there. So that logo causes this not to expand. You can see, see how the logo causes this not to expand? Let's see if I can get this rod around. In this giant studio of mine. I don't know if I can or not, but I don't have a ceiling fan going. Anyway, you gotta believe me. It causes the, uh, it stops the expansion of the uh, loom, and that means it doesn't go on the handle very well. The tip is fine. It's just actually probably too long. It's great for a, it's great for a uh, rod without a reel on it, but it's going to gather up and cause all kinds of interesting situations when you got a reel on it. Maybe, it's, maybe they want it to grip that, grip your grip. Then it bunches out like this. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I don't know. I don't know about this thing. Trestle, uh, you might want to shorten it by about six inches, maybe eight inches, but there they are, the trestle rod boot comes in twos i'm going to give it a mixed review because it's got some strangeness in it uh, not a buy but not a don't buy either you just might have to work with it some to get it to do what you want it to do but there it is the trestle full length nine footer it's a nine feet and some I can make it go a lot further than there. You go. It's a lot. It's longer than nine. So I guess they think they're gonna sell these also to the spay guys. Um, but there it is, trestle. I hope that everything stayed in focus. It's really hard working here. Um, but I'm trying. There you go, guys. Let me know what you think. I'll, I'll put a link in the bottom, and you can uh, take a look at those. Make your own. Let me let me see if you make your own. Let me see it. I want to see how it turns out. Thanks for watching this uh, really uh, random kind of review, and let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. www.texasflycaster.com for the written word, and we'll see you again soon.